Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here is the pride of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Twice he has challenged for UFC gold. Prevailing wisdom is if he can win this fight here tonight, he'll be back on that short list of contenders. You look at Stephen Thompson, and you almost feel like you'll see him at a church choir more than uh -huh. you'll see him in the octagon. He looks so innocent. But when you're in there, you are in there with an absolute killer. Stephen Thompson has the ability to slide out of range as you enter and counter you really, really quick. He counters like a viper. He's so fast with his counter attacks. That right hand is unbelievable, and he fights in that traditional karate stance, which makes it difficult to try and piece the puzzle together when you're in front of the Wonder Boy. And of course, the last man to beat Robert Whitaker. I submit to you, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, back at UFC 170, one of the bigger knockouts of his career in 2014. Well, ground and pound is a true art form, and whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Below, remember the name, Muhammad! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eva Robin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Just misses with the right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Nice one, two there. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big knee to the body. How good is that right hand? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch land. Ooh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here.
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for one of the best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Circling to his right. Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick land. Five seconds remain in the round. Protect your face. Head Ooh, up. head kick lands. He's hurt. Whiffs on that offering. Wonder Boy gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh! Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Dealing with oh. a cut now over that right eye. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh! And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Misses again with a right punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the oh. shot. That's Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. That's a good strike right there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he switches to southpaw. Muay Thai plump. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh! Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Boom! Big jab. Thompson's lower jaw does not look good. A nice liver shot lands. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? Eight. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Two rounds in the books.
All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready? You ready? Third and final round. Good punch. He lands the kick to the body there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beings called a stop to this contest at one minute of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.